Have you guys heard this story? Have you guys heard this story? I don't mean to laugh. I don't think it's funny. I think it's very sad, okay? I think this story is very, very sad. Man killed, uh, actually, let's, uh, actually, no, I think this Chiron may be actually applicable here. Uh, man killed in Wolf City police uh, shooting was pillar of the community, witness says. I don't know if you guys have heard about this, but a man by the name of Jonathan Price, I believe, has been shot and killed by, in a police officer-involved shooting. Uh, relatives of Jonathan Price said he was trying to defuse a fight when he was shot and killed. A Wolf City police officer was placed on administrative leave. In this town of 1500, all eyes are on this gas station following a shooting Saturday night. An eyewitness said around 8.30, a couple got in an argument inside the store and 31-year-old Jonathan Price stepped in to break it up. Mm. Eventually, they took it outside and someone called the police. We were out at one of the stores across the street. And Kyla Sanders heard the commotion. Three gunshots went off and I turned and looked at them and I said a cop just shot somebody. After his arrival, a Wolf City officer shot and killed Jonathan. Wolf City PD has only said that the officer is now on paid administrative leave. Mm. Texas Rangers tell us they are investigating. And I got around, I start yelling, Jonathan, Jonathan, breathe, breathe. Clarissa Brown arrived minutes after the shooting. And as he was laying there lifeless, to use my witness, lifeless, the son, uh, the officer had already left this, this crime scene. The gas station has cameras, but they aren't releasing video. They say mm. they'll put out a statement Monday. It's, it's a shock to our community. It's a small town, a place where the gas station, city hall, the police and fire department are all within a city block. We don't mm. need this in Wolf City. And now, 24 hours after this officer-involved shooting, family and friends are trying to figure out why this young man is dead. Honestly, the, the nicest kind of sky you could ever make. And police have said very little. We just want justice, that's it. In Wolf City, I, I'm Alex Rosie. I don't know why they keep asking her. Who is she in all this? Does anyone know who she is? Was there no family members they could ask? Why do they keep asking her? Can someone explain to me who she is? Who is she in all this? That's the question I want to know. She took up more, more screen time than anyone else. Let's read what happened. Let's read what happened. Allegedly what happened, okay? One person was shot by Wolf City Police uh, Officer Saturday night. Officials with the Texas Rangers confirmed. Friends and family of the man killed, Jonathan Price, said he was trying to intervene in a domestic violence situation before he was killed at the Quick Check gas station at 103 Santa Fe Street. So, there's that. Um... Officials have not named Price, but relatives confirmed his identity to WFAA. The Texas Rangers have released few details on, shoot, on the shooting or the officer involved, other than to say the officer was placed on administrative leave. Ah, they, so they haven't confirmed the identity. Maybe that's why the relatives uh, haven't come out. So they got a bunch of randos uh, to speak on his name. Uh Relatives and friends said 31-year-old Price was a city employee and believed the, in the Wolf City community about an hour northeast of Dallas. Marcel Luis was in bed when she got the call about the shooting. She rushes to the gas station uh, to get her son. And they, would let, and they wouldn't let me get close to my baby. I just wanted to hold his hands, and they wouldn't let me do that. Luis said, I just wanted to crawl over there to him. All right, not a lot. That's uh, Jonathan Price. Uh, let's read a little bit more. Witnesses said a man and a woman were in an argument and Price stepped, tried to step in. The man assaulted Price, and when officers arrived, they used a taser on Price uh, before the shooting. Uh, the Texas Rangers and law enforcement officials have not released information on what happened at the gas station. Kyla Sanders was at the store across the street when the shooting occurred Saturday night. Sanders heard three gunshots and turned to look to what, at, at what was happening. We were all in shock. Why would a cop shoot somebody? Civil rights attorney, civil rights lawyer, Lee Merritt also posted about Price's death. He said he had spoken to the man's family. When police arrived, I'm told he raised his hands and attempted to explain what was going on, Merritt wrote on Facebook. Police fired tasers at him, and when his body convulsed from the electric current, they perceived a threat 
and shot him to death. He's saying that when the police came, he raised his hands. Police shot a taser. When he went down and his body started to convulse, they perceived that as a threat and then fired three rounds. That's, that's, that's the story as of right now. Till we get the body cam. Uh, the Texas Rangers are investigating the shooting at the request of the city's police department officials with Hunt County Sheriff's Office were also seen at the scene. All right. Okay. Well, there's an investigation. Uh, but before we, uh, before y'all shed any tears, let's, let's feel what, uh, let's see what, uh, Jonathan Price felt about certain scenarios. Let's just see. This is Jonathan Price is from his Facebook. Uh, right here, Jonathan Price, June 15th. With all the tension and animosity going on with race and, I guess, the police, uh, one time, uh, RN, uh, I'm on the same fences as, I'm on the same fence, excuse me, as Little Wayne, with him saying a white cop saved his life and has been too vocal based off experiences, in all caps. I was raised by Malone's and Woodruff's in my hometown for a large amount of my youth was my second family then, and still are in 2020, if I have to say anything. The amount of food fed to me, uh, they spent the money spent on me, outweigh any BS about race or color right now. I have family that's never done a damn thing for me, or supported my business ventures, and they're my blood. They will forever be a million in my book, and they know who they are. Um, they are to blame for my countryside and addiction to white women. Not complaining one bit. There were times I should have been detained for speeding, outstanding citations, outdated registration, dozing off at a red light before making it to my garage downtown Dallas after a long night out. I guess drinking and partying. I passed a sobriety test after leaving uh, a bar in Wiley, Texas. Wiley, Texas, by two white cops and still let me drive to where I was headed. And by the way, they consider Wiley, Texas, to be very racist. I've never got that kind of energy from the Popo. He seems to be one of the good blacks. He seems to be one of the good blacks, as some individuals would believe, um, some individuals would say. It's one, of the good, it's one of the good blacks. Not saying black lives don't matter. But don't forget about your own or your, or your experiences through growth, waking up. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Now, this happens to be the same man who allegedly was shot to death upon raising his hands and intervening for someone who was allegedly being uh, beaten. Well... I, if we could, I'm not going to lie, if we could, I would like, to, if he didn't get killed, I would have very much liked to have flown there and done an interview with him in the hospital. If he was still alive. If he was still alive. Now, do you think that BLM may protest for him? I don't know. It's a toss up. It's a toss up. I don't know. Do you think the majority of the community is going to? Really go hard for him? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think this little post right here, I think this is pretty damaging. I don't know. He seemed like, well, I'm getting treated a certain way. You know, it's never been about me. Never, never happened to me. Okay, so I don't know what y'all talking about. It's never happened to me. Up until, what does Paul Mooney say? That nigga wake up call? Isn't that what he says? Wake up, nigga. A nigga wake up calls a bitch. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. It seems like my man got the ultimate wake up call. I don't know what to tell you. It seems like he got the ultimate wake up call. Um, because... If they shot him with his hands up, they tasered him. 
And then while he's convulsing, they then shot him and perceived him as a threat. I think that's the ultimate wake up call. I don't know about you. I think that's the ultimate wake up call. Okay. The ultimate wake up call. Um, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Uh, uh, hopefully, hopefully all those white women come to his funeral. I, I really hope that all those white women that he's addicted to come to his funeral. I really do. I hope, I hope they come to his funeral. They mourn. They even, you know, there's a GoFundMe that's supported by all white women for his funeral, right? For his burial. I really hope that. I really pray. Um, but I'm sure, you know, Malone's, the Malone's and the Woodruff's will definitely provide for him. Definitely. So I'm not even concerned. I think his folks will provide for him. I really do. I'm not even concerned. I'm not even complaining. He's not even complaining. I'm not even complaining. So uh, hopefully he made peace with God. Uh, he was on the right side. Hopefully. And, you know, he's laughing about this in heaven. Like, yo, I was mad stupid, God. Uh, and God will be like, yeah, you were. Um, uh, let's come over here and play some dominoes. But it, it's such a shame to have a wake-up call that ends in your demise. It's such a shame to have a wake-up call that ends in, ends in your demise. That you were actually being valiant in your effort to stop someone from a domestic abuse case or domestic assault, whatever was going on. I don't know, I don't know what he even feels is domestic assault. Maybe the dude just said, shut up. Right? Real loudly. He was like, hey, you don't talk to her like that. You don't do that. That's not how you treat women. And I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. I don't know what he considers domestic abuse. I don't know. Um, I guess we'll find out once they release the video, even though they haven't. They're, they've released the statement. They haven't released the video. So I, I don't know. Um, if he came out talking about, hey, listen. Hey, officers, you guys know me, right? Hey, hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, I was just, there was a couple in there that was, he was, he was being a really bad man. Hey, why you got that taser? <laughs> bam, 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 bam. Stop resisting! Stop resisting! Stop resisting! I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I guess we're, that's what we're waiting for the video for. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. But if that happened... That's some cold-blooded nonsense. That's some cold-blooded nonsense. That reminds me of like when your parents would smack you. You know, you get a spanking. And you start to tear up and cry. You cry. You start crying. I'm going to give you something to cry about. We'll have to, we'll have to wait for the facts and evidence. We'll have to wait for the facts and evidence. Right? Because I know you can't believe that the police would just shoot this guy. Just taser a guy who's walking out with his hands up. That doesn't make any sense. That makes no sense, all right? And then upon him convulsing, see that as a threat, and then shoot him. That, I don't know about that one. That's, that's a big pill for me to swallow. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. I'm going to have to see that. I'm going to have to see the, the, the surveillance, which they have. I'm going to have to see that surveillance. It's just not adding up. Sorry. I don't know what to tell you.